Welcome back guys, it's Tommy Lego here and recently I've been to Legoland Beelun with my family. So I've already done three Legoland tour videos, so make sure to check out those if you haven't seen them yet. Because in those videos I've uh, shown you all of the Lego City displays, some of the amusement park rides and all kinds of uh, cool creations and builds, what you can see in Legoland. But in this video, I'm going to show you the exclusive Legoland set, which of course I bought at Legoland. I will also show you the Legoland map, and I will also show you a few other stuff what I got at Legoland. So Lego sells exclusive sets, which are only available at Legoland's. So currently eight of them are available. So I will put some pictures of them over here, so make sure to pause the video if you want to take a more detailed look at the pictures. So I only decided to buy one of them, because every single LEGO set in Legoland is very overpriced, so it's not worth buying any LEGO sets which you can buy anywhere else. It's only worth buying the exclusive sets, but these are really overpriced as well. So I decided to buy one of the smaller sets, but this one was also around 30 euros or dollars, so it was very overpriced. But I decided to get it because I don't often go to Legoland, and yeah, if I was finally at Legoland, then I decided to buy at least one of these exclusive sets. So now I think let's take a look at the set which I bought at Legoland. So as you can see, it's in this cool Legoland bag. So unfortunately, I also had to pay for the bag. It was like 50 cents. So yeah, I decided to pay for it because I like the design of it with the Legoland logo and the minifigure. So yeah, that's why I bought it. But now I think let's take a look at the set itself. So here comes the set. So the set name is Legoland Fire Academy. The set number is 40393, it's a 7 plus set, it contains 221 pieces and it was released in 2020 and as you can see it's exclusive to Legoland. So this set actually represents one of the attractions at Legoland, so here you can see some pictures of it. So you have to sit in these cars, drive to the buildings and then put out the fires in the windows with these uh, water guns. So yeah, I think this represents the attraction very well, uh, which you can see of course here. So you get one of the cards, some smaller buildings, of course the water shooter, you get one Legoland employee, you also get this map, and then two uh, visitors, so you get three minifigures in total. So here's the back of the packaging where you can see that you can see the two minifigures in the car, you can shoot the water and then you can put out the fires in the windows, which is pretty cool. So yeah, this is the set which I decided to buy. As I mentioned earlier, uh, it cost about 30 euros or dollars, so it was pretty expensive for such a small set, but it was exclusive to Legoland, so that's why I decided to buy this set. So as I've mentioned earlier, I got a few other smaller stuff besides the set as well. For example, I got this card holder, which of course you can hang in your neck. So it has the 90 years of play logo because of course it celebrates the 90th anniversary of Lego. So you can get it apart at the top here if you want. And here's the card holder. So it has some kind of advert in it, but of course you can put your own cards inside if you want to. So yeah, I think it's pretty cool. And at least this one was for free, so you didn't have to pay for it. So I got a catalog as well. So this is of course the Danish one. So yeah, it's nice to have the Danish one as well. Of course, this is the newest one. I got a map, which I'll show you in this video. And then here you can see my ticket. So all of them had different adverts on the front, so mine had an advert for the castle hotel. Let's take a look at the map. So of course this is the English version, but I got the Danish version as well, but we are going to take a look at the English one. So here on the front you can see some of the attractions. 
and then if we open it here we can see some adverts some more adverts over here as well and then here we can see the entire Legoland layout so everything is numbered so you can read the stuff over there but I think let's take a look at the map so over here we have the entrance to Legoland so yeah now you can see it better so there's the entrance here was this holiday village uh, where was something like campground or something like that where you can uh, of course sleep here was the castle hotel another hotel over there here's the shop where i bought the set then in this building there was this rebuild the world place where there were a bunch of bricks and pieces so you can build stuff and that's where they gave the card holder then here there was a restaurant and here was the legoland gallery and then here was the most interesting stuff in my opinion so of course the city displays so there you can see a bunch of stuff which i've already shown you in my legoland tour videos for example there's the airport there are some uh, buildings then there you can see the space station the oil rig and there's this castle and here's this huge tower which of course we went up into that and i've took a bunch of uh, cool pictures from up there of these uh, city displays then over here you can see this uh, cars which were going around uh, those uh, safari animals of course i took pictures of those as well here we had the boats going around in that uh, river of course all of the amazing uh, buildings were next to the river then here you can see the haunted house and some smaller amusement park stuff then behind here there was a cinema over there here was the ninjago area there were some smaller amusement park stuff as well then there was again some kind of ride over there and then here were the pirate stuff of course those were mainly uh, mainly amusement park rides as well but here you can see the small castle and then the big castle there you can see a roller coaster as well then here you can see i believe this was some viking stuff and then over here you can see the this was the adventures stuff the temple another roller coaster and then the lego movie world over there then here were some arctic uh, explorer stuff over there and then here was this little fire fighter uh, stuff which of course the set represents which i bought so yeah that's the legoland map so i didn't want to do a very detailed look at it because that would be a separate video but yeah i just uh, wanted to show you like how legoland looked like and uh, where were the stuff which i've shown you in my legoland tour videos so again make sure to check out all three of them if you haven't seen them so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video of course make sure to stay tuned for the review of that set because of course i'll do a review of it and uh, make sure to check out all three of the legoland tour videos if you haven't seen them yet so thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe make sure to follow me on instagram stay tuned for the review of that set and goodbye